Good morning, Six Cadbury. I hope you're all well and ready for this lesson. So today we're going to be looking at factors and prime numbers. So we're going to be looking at both separately. So first of all, what is a factor? Where have we used factors before this term? See if you can remember where we've used the term factors. So pause the video and write down where you used what is a factor and when have we used factors before this term. So we looked at factors when we were simplifying fractions. So let's have a look at this fraction, 3 fifteenths. If I was going to simplify it, the first question I would ask myself is, what is 3 divisible by and what is 15 divisible by? And it has to be the same number. So what goes into 3 and what goes into 15? So 1 goes into 3. But is that the highest one? So let's try 2. No, because I know they're both odd numbers. 3. Yes, 3 can be divided by 3. And 15 can be divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And 15 divided by 3 equals 3. So to simplify, I have got 1 third. I've got 1 third there. And 3 15 equals 1 third in its lowest term. And the factor was 3. 3 went into 3 and it goes into 15. So a factor of a number is any number that goes into the original numbers. But factors come in pairs. So why do factors come in pairs? Write that on your whiteboard, pause the video and write that on your whiteboard for me, please. So for a number to go into another number, it has to be multiplied by something. So for example, if I had the number 3, the number 3 would be multiplied by 4, to give me 12. Here, 3 and 4 are the factors. So look at this number sequence. 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 and 4 are the factors of 12. 12 is the product. So 12 is the product of 3 times 4. Factor pairs are the pairs of factors we multiply together to get the product. So 3 and 4 these two, that is a factor pair to give us 12. Let's try another one. Um, I'm going to say the number 24 as my product. So 24 is my product. I'm going to write a number sequence, a multiplication sequence. So I'm going to choose 6 times by 4. 6 times by 4 equals 24. 6 is my factor, 4 is my factor, and my product is 24. So 6, that's my factor, this is my factor, the number 4, and, and 24 is my product, and 6 and 4, that is my factor pair. So two factors have to be multiplied by together to give me the product. Which number is always a factor of any number? Which number is always a factor of any number? I'd like you to pause the video and tell me what, which number is always a factor of any number and tell me why. So the answer is 1. 1 is always a factor of any number. Why? Because it has to be defined, multiplied by itself. The number has to be multiplied by itself and the number 1. So, for example, let's look at the number 56. So, 56 times by 1 to give us 56. 239, 239 can be multiplied by 1 to give us 239. So, any number at all can always be multiplied by itself and the number 1. So, every number has itself and number 1 as a factor. Every number has itself and one as a factor. To find the other factors of a number, we have to look at all the multiplications that could equal the number as a product. So a product is the sum, the product is the sum of two numbers when they are multiplied. So product is about multiplication. When two numbers are times together, it gives us the product of that number. So, for example, let's find the factors of the number 20. If we're going to find the factors of 20, we know that the first one we could do is the number 1 and itself. 
So this is a factor pair. 20 and 1 are a factor pair of 20. 10 times 2 always get, also gives us 20, so 10 times 2. So 10 and 2 are factors. 4 times 5 are also factors, and they are the only ones. So the factors of 20 are 20, 1, 10, 2, 4, and 5. 1, 20, 10, 2, 4, and 5 are the factors of 20. So let's have a look at this number question together. So let's find the factors of 35. So the first thing you need to do is write the, the number 35. Now, always start with number 1. Always start with number 1 so that you don't get confused and mixed up. So let's start with 1. So I know 1 times by 35. So the number 1 times by 35 will give us 35. So that is a factor pair. Then I'm going to go on to the number 2. So can I have 2 as a factor? So 2 times something? Well, I know it's an odd number, so 2 can definitely not be a factor. The number 3, can I have 3 times something equals 35? Mm, no, that's not in the times tables. Number 4, no, because 4 is an even number. Number 5, 5 times, oh, 5 times 7 is 35. I know 5 times 7 is 35, so those two are factors, so that's a factor pair. The number 6, no, because that's an odd, um, even number. The number 7, yes, I can do the number 7, but here what I've realised is I've already done the number 7. So once you get to the number that you have already done, you don't need to repeat it. So let me list the factors. So we've got 135, which is the fact factor pair, 5 and 7. So these are the factors of 35. So for 25, you should have 1 and 25, 1 times 25, and 5 times 5 is 25. So because we don't need to repeat the number 5, we, the factors are 1, 5, and 25. They are the numbers that go into 25. So let's now look at the number 36. So the factors are 1 and 36, because 1 times 36, 2 and 18, 2 times 18, 3 and 12, 3 times 12, 4 and 9, 4 times 9, and 6 and 6, 6 for, and 36, sorry. So we do not need to put the repeated 6, so the others are all the factors of 36. So now we're going to be looking at prime numbers. So I'd like you to record down what you think, what you know a prime number is, and apart from 1, what is the smallest prime number? And why is it different from all the other prime numbers? So what is a prime number? A prime number is a number with only two factors, only itself and one. And apart from one, the smallest prime number is the number two. And it's because it's even. Prime numbers are numbers which are all odd numbers except for the number two. Two is the only even prime number. So the first thing is, if you had a number and it was, it wasn't the number 2, and it was a number higher than number 2, and it was an even number, you would definitely say, no, it's not an, a prime number. And the reason why is because it's even. So if you had, for example, if somebody said it's 34, a prime number, definitely not, because it, it is an even number. So if you were presented, for example, with... And 3 and 7, 28, 29, 42. Straight away, you could say, right, well, I know which ones are definitely not prime numbers. 42 isn't because it's an even number. 28 isn't because it's an even number. I'm going to put the number 2 on there. So the number 2, the number 2 is a prime number. And it's the only ever prime number which is an even number. Okay, so it's an even number. So we're going to now talk about what makes a number prime. And the reason a number is a prime number is because the only two factors is itself and the number one. So for example, let's look at the number three. The number three, what are the factors of three? 
but I'm going to always start with the number 1, so 1 times 3, so we've got 1 and 3 are prime of its factors, and can I do 2? Uh, no, because it, this 2 is an even number, 3, 3 times 1, but I've already done it, so I don't need to repeat myself, so this has only got 2 factors, so yes, the number 3 is a prime number. So let's have a look at a few more. So let's have a look at the number 25. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to ask myself is, is it an odd number or an even number? Well, I know it's an odd number, so it could be a prime number. It could be a prime number. So now I'm going to list all the factors of 25. So I'm always going to start with 1, 1 times 25. But I also know I can have 5 times by 5. Okay, 5 times by 5. So 5 is a factor of 25. So this cannot be a prime number because I've got 1 itself, 25, and another number. It's got actually three factors. So 25 cannot be a prime number. Let's look at the number 23. So I'm going to start with the number 1 again. So number 1 and itself, 23. So 1 times 23. Yes. Those two are factors. Let's see if I can think of any more. Two times? No, nope, because two, um, because this is an odd number, so it can't be divisible by two. Three? No. Four? Five? Not in the five times tables. Not in the six times tables. Not in the seven. Not in the eight. Not in the nine. Not in the ten. Not in the eleven. And then, not in the twelve times tables. So. I can't go any higher, so this number has only got two factors, so that is what makes it a prime number. So the only two factors 23 has got is 1 and 23. So all the other even numbers have 2 as a factor, which is why they are not prime numbers. So apart from the number 2, which we said was the, the only even prime number, all the rest have 2 as a factor, all the other even numbers. So let's try, for example, number 50. I know number 50, we can say 50 is divisible by 2 because 2 times 25, 2 times 25 is 50. So we've got a factor of 2 and a factor 25. Okay, so that is an even number, but it can be divided by 2. Try the number 36. 36, again, we know it can be divided by 2 because 18 times 2. So a even number, an even number, or it can be always be divided by 2. It has 2 as a factor, which makes it not a prime number. So what is this, and what is this used for? So this is a Venn diagram, Venn diagram, and it's used for sorting out information. So you might have seen this when we were doing our reading, when we were looking at Mr. A, Mr. Hardacre and Joey, and we were finding information just about Joey and putting it into this space here. We were looking at, um, so this would have been just information about Joey. This section would have been just about Mr. Hardacre. And here in the middle would have been information about both of them. So for example, they both had an interest in coins, would have gone in this middle section here. So this can also be used for sorting out mathematical information. So let's look at how we can use it for prime numbers and factors. So I'd like you to have a go at um, completing this Venn diagram. So on this side here, we want just the factors of, 20, of 35. On this side here, just the factors of 35. And on this side, we want the factors of just 42. And in the middle section here, we'd like the factors which are both, which are the common factors of both 35 and 42. So of 35 and 42 in this middle section. So we've done the, I've done the number 2 for you already. So the number 2, I knew that because it's an even number, it is not going to be a factor of 35, because 35 is an odd number. And it is definitely a factor of 42, because 2 times 21 equals 42. So that is definitely a factor. So pause the video and have a go, please. Okay, so we've done the number two. Let's go on to the number five. So the number five, I know it's definitely, I've definitely, five times seven gives us 35. So five times seven, it's definitely a factor of 35. Is five a factor of 42? 
No, so it's only going to go to this section here. Let's look at the number one. So the number one, we've said already, is always a factor of both. So, factor is a no, a fa so the number one is a factor of all numbers, so it's going to be a factor of both of them. So I can put the number one in here. The number seven, is it a factor of 35? Yes, because I know seven times five is 35, but is it a factor of 42? Oh yes, seven times six is 42. So that is actually going to go in the middle section here. The number three, is three in uh, a factor of 35? No, let's have a look at 42. Yes, because I know three times, three times 14 is 42. So three is actually going to go into this section here, three times 14. So it's actually a factor of 42. And then 8 is after a factor of 8, 35. No, is it a factor of 42? No, so 8 is actually going to go outside here. So could you find the common factors of 12 and 35? So pause your video. So I'd like you to list all the factors of 12, all the factors of 35, and then circle the numbers with the factors which are common in both of them. So here I've listed all the factors of 12, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and I've listed all the factors of 35, 1 and 35, and 5 and 7. So now I'm going to circle any factor which is common in both of them, and I can see the only factor which is common in both of them is 1. So 1 is the only common factor in both of them. Now, I'd like you to go and do your work on Seesaw, complete the activity on Seesaw based on factors and prime numbers. You've got your sheets on Seesaw, so please, if you are stuck or if you need to watch the video again, that's absolutely fine. Pause it as many times as you want. Okay, looking forward to seeing your work.